Winter break is here, and that means no school and no selling candy at school. But there is still a way to remain productive over winter break as a candy seller. If not, without these preparations, you will not be fully prepared as a candy seller come 2020, and you may not get as many sales. So listen closely and apply these preparations to ensure your success in 2020. In this video, we'll discover the five best things to do as a candy seller over winter break, I will also reveal my top secret candy selling plans that I will be working on this winter break and of course we will be looking at some Instagram reactions from you guys of what you guys will be doing over winter break and my reaction. Let's just jump right into it. Number one, look for deals on snacks. Look on websites like Amazon, Costco and Sam's Club online and see if you could see any snacks that are not offered in store but only offered online that you could restock with in the next coming year. As businesses move more towards online shopping, they will have more supply and more stuff that you could order instead of buying it in the store. And if you have the membership and if you order past some certain number, you could qualify for some free shipping, lowers the costs to similar amounts of going into the store. So I would highly recommend you would look online, try to find some candies that you would like to try out, some candies that other sellers are saying that are successful and go ahead and find some new snacks that you're interested in restocking in and order it online but however be careful though some of the listings are deceptive they're not as they seem online some of them seem too good to be true some of the boys from the discord said they ordered a 36 pack airheads that contain five individual in each pack now that sounds good because you could sell it for one dollar each make around twenty dollars of profit but however the 36 bars referring to the individual packs when you choose the variant in on amazon so the listing is very deceptive and it makes you think that you're getting more than advertised so i would highly recommend you be very careful when looking on listings online now you could find very good deals online on candy and restock on this and make even more profit than just restocking at the store Mr. Poppy Chulo for sending me these bags, these boxes of chips, and subscribe to him and like his videos. And congrats to the free candy winner. If you want some free candy this winter break to make 100% profit with a free pack of candy in 2020, slam the like button right now, and only subscribers can win. Hit that like button now. Congrats to this winner. Number two reassess your selling strategies now you're gonna reflect on your semester and see what worked and see what didn't work you're gonna list out the snacks all the snacks that you sold and you're gonna list out the best and the worst snacks and you're gonna see which ones were the most profitable and which ones were the least now this is the list that you're gonna be using as a guide so when you restock next for the next semester now reflect on the times you sold the most during the school day see when you didn't sell and see when you were most likely to get caught when did the teacher almost see you when did you when did the teacher see you and you had to leave the area or when did you get caught so you're going to create an outline of the whole school day of what time sold the best and what times to avoid this way you're gonna create a candy selling routine so come the next semester you know the times that you will put more effort in during peak times and bring more supply to get some more sales during those times and also you will have a way to hide your stash in a stash location so i would highly recommend you reassess your selling strategies see did you have employees that they work i would write everything down and see if what was working and what was not because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do more of what was working and less of what was not it seems pretty obvious but if you do this right you could apply this new plan and new organization this next semester and make more profit with less effort number three create some marketing content take this extra time over winter break to create some content to advertise your candy coming the next semester now do you have some leftover candy from over the semester go ahead and use it and create some content with it there's some very good examples on the discord you're going to want to take your leftover supply or go ahead and make an early restock to get some props and start creating some content just a video or some photos of your candy and go ahead and make that content that you could use to post on your stories and your social media now you could also use graphic design you could also use graphic design websites online 
to create some menus that look nice so you could post them daily on your story and stuff that you sold out in you could just scratch it off go ahead and take this time over winter break to create some content so you could use to advertise your candy number four make a massive restock building on number two where you listed out what snacks worked and what snacks failed your first 2020 restock you're gonna have a shopping list of the most profitable items to sell and you're gonna avoid the least profitable and the ones that do not sell this way you're able to organize your restocks you know exactly how much you're gonna spend and how much to budget every single time you go to restock personally this makes my restocks way more organized and it makes it easier expected amount of expenses and i know exactly how much i'm going to make back per week or per restock that i go to so come 2020 you're going to have your plan ready to go of making your first restock of 2020 to get ready for the upcoming semester and just go ahead and restock on the best items that sell the most don't try to experiment with large quantities because that could cost you money and go only experiment with stuff that has proven to work don't venture too far of what doesn't work if you have a winning product sell more of that number five this may be an important thing as a candy seller but hear me out you need to rest you need rest because it could get crazy over the semester waking up early to pack your bags to sell personally i wake up one hour earlier than usual than just to pack all my bags to be ready to sell at school including the bags i use for my employees and also to restock some of my stashes in my locker and other places packing all the candy in the morning it can get tiring and including carrying around 50 to 70 pounds of food because i have gatorades i have a bunch of chips snacks it does get tiring and sometimes i have to take the bus so you need rest over this winter break so go ahead and take the time because you deserve it you've hustled and you've worked all semester long and you need to be sharp coming the next semester so make sure to take that rest but strategize at the same time do not take too much leisure time off just enough to recover for you to be the best shape possible come next semester so make sure you're ready to go because it's going to be the greatest semester yet it may come as a surprise or maybe not but these are the things i will primarily be focusing on apart from planning some epic videos to come out shortly during winter break i'll also be working to make these training videos and upload them to my new elite training course selling snacks mastery here are the new lessons i will be uploading to the course this week Many of you have been asking what's the difference between my elite training course and my YouTube videos. Primarily my YouTube videos help you out to start selling and they have the potential to help you make a lot of money. But they're also made to be entertaining. In my course I focus more on giving information and step by step strategies saving the flashy stuff for YouTube just so I could pack as much value and as much information into one video as possible that's the main difference and i created it with all the levels of selling in mind sometimes in my youtube videos i could post videos that apply mostly to different levels at some times so i created this course to organize your thoughts and organize the lessons your progressions to get you to that advanced level if you're interested click the link in the description if you want to be featured on my next Instagram poll, make sure to go follow my Instagram right now at poppychulo.tv. Now, let's get onto these reactions. Many of them apply to some of the principles we discussed earlier in this video. So we will react to them and organize them accordingly. So let's just jump right into it. As you can see, these sellers have concept number four on lockdown. They are ready and they are actively planning to make a massive restock coming 2020 huge shout out to these guys to planning and making the initiative to organize the restock and make a massive restock for the first days of selling in 2020 so huge shout out to these guys now these guys are really listening to concept number five they want to be as sharp as possible come 2020 so they could even sell even better than before when they were constantly grinding because when you're fresh you're ready to go and give your all and that's when you sell the most so these guys are really resting and enjoying their time off during the winter break which is perfectly fine because 
you guys are candy selling hustlers and you guys deserve rest so rest up kings these guys however are selling during winter break either way it's very good it all depends on how you feel these guys are trying to squeeze out some extra money during the holidays by selling candy outside of school very good and very smart making enough money to restock for the school semester these guys are strategizing now they're gonna be listing out the snacks that work the best snacks that worked the worst and failed and they're gonna be planning out their day out school and making a candy selling routine huge shout out to these guys for planning and strategizing I know it will pay off for them big in the future.